Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about an easy way to install the latest version of TensorFlow on GPU using Anaconda on a Spider in Windows 11. Let's get started. As I said in this video, I'd like to talk about the easy way to install the latest version of uh, TensorFlow on GPU using Anaconda on a Spider in Windows 11. There are quite a few stages that we have to go through. We're going to go step by step. Uh, in the first stage, uh, you have to install the latest NVIDIA GPU driver. Simply go to this website as shown here and download the suitable driver for your GPU. You have to first put in your GPU information and then download and install the, the driver you need. This is a snapshot of that website. Just go into that website and first put in the, the information regarding your GPU and then download the driver that your GPU needs. The second stage is to install the latest Visual Studio community. You have to make sure to select all the C++ components of the Visual Studio. Uh, and this is a snapshot of the website. Just go there and download for, for free uh, the Visual Studio community. The third stage is to install the latest version of CUDA Toolkit. To do that, simply go to this website. And uh, this is a, again, snapshot of that website. Uh, as you can see, the latest version of CUDA Toolkit that, that I installed is 11.6.1, which is from February 2022 and uh, just go there and install the download and install the latest version of CUDA toolkit from this website as shown. In the fourth stage you have to download CUDNN. Simply go to this website as shown here but you have to be careful uh, with the version. It should be matched the version of the it should match the the version of your CUDNN should match the version of your CUDA toolkit that you install in the third stage after downloading the CUDNN, just uh, unzip it and save it in a directory called NVIDIA or call it whatever you want and save the directory, save the folder in, in, the, in your program files. This is a snapshot of CUDNN. First you have to agree to the terms which is from NVIDIA Corporation and download the, the version of the CUDNN that matches the version of the uh, CUDA toolkit that you have already installed. And in the fifth stage you have to add CUDA and CUDNN to your environment variables. To do that first look up the environment variables on your computer as shown here. And then uh, on the next window select environment variables as shown here. And then, uh, after that, in the System Variables section, double-click on Path, as shown here. Just double-click on this path and uh, manually add these directories to your path, as shown here. Just copy-paste them to your path. In the sixth stage, uh, you have to install Zlib. This is the stage that is missing from most of the sources out there, and that's what I had issues with, and I and and I was and I wasn't able to to and I wasn't able to use my uh, spider in order to use my GPU. So just simply go to this website as shown here and download and install the Zlib. The seventh stage is to install the latest version of Anaconda. This is the simplest stage of all. Just go to the website of Anaconda and download and install uh, the latest version of Anaconda simply on your computer. In the eighth stage, open Anaconda prompt as an administrator. You have to be cautious. I said administrator. And in the ninth stage, create an environment called TensorFlow using the following code. You could uh, create uh, the TensorFlow environment with any other name that you want, but I, I chose TensorFlow so that I know that my TensorFlow is, there, is in that environment. In the 10th stage, you have to activate the environment using the code uh, Conda Activate TensorFlow. This would allow you 
uh, to work in your new environment, which is TensorFlow. In the eleventh stage, you have to install Spider using the following code, which is pip install Spider. The nice thing about this simple code is this this will automatically install the latest version of the Spider. In the twelfth stage, you have to install TensorFlow using the code pip install TensorFlow. In the thirteenth stage, is to check if your system recognizes the GPU. This is the uh, the stage of the utmost importance because everything you do depends on whether or not your system recognizes the GPU. To do that in your TensorFlow environment code, code the following coding. Uh, so import TensorFlow as TF and this one. So just write these two in your newly made environment, which is TensorFlow. If the output comes out as true, that means your TensorFlow knows the GPU and could make use of it. If not, you have to go back to the stage 5 and see what you have done wrong there, the, the, the stage where you had to manually put in some path. Either you haven't entered a particular path or you have made a misspelling mistake of some sort. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a nice day.